Balik tayo dito sa kababayan today, a mother and daughter tandem. Their faith is strong in the Lord. They're here to share their testimonies to all our kababayans on why it's so important. Isabella, Ku, I'm so thankful that you guys are here. I can feel, I can feel the, the inspiration from just talking to you and because of the love you have not only for each other but for the Lord. So thank you for sharing. You feel the love. I do. do feel I feel it. Love, I feel it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anyway, you know, G, it's always a pleasure to see you. Alam niyo pa mga kaibigan, G is always so mabait, you yeah. know, walang ere, just, you know, a real friend from the beginning yan, since we, we uh, came to know her. But anyway, you know, G, why, why we talk about it is because we have discovered something amazing in our life, you know. And I always, sabi ko nga ngayon, I, I count my blessings, you know, kahit yung bedsheets ko, May air ko na ko. Parang, now I, I know what it means you know, to be grateful to God. Kasi siya yung in control everything. eh. You know, for every blessing that comes into our lives, God is the one that brings it. No, The challenges, He allows it. May mga ginagawa tayo sa buhay natin kasi that, you know, that things happen for a reason. And God has a plan for everything. Hindi po kaya ng 10 minutes na natitira dito sa show nito <laughs> to explain. No? Oh, oh, pero, pero, Ang importante laga is to acknowledge that God is our creator. He created us in, uh, you know, with His pleasure. Pleasure niya na to create us. Pero kailangan mag-connect tayo sa Kanya. Parang story ni Pinocchio and his maker, mm -hmm. di ba? Pag nalilihi si Pinocchio, he gets into trouble. Yes. So parang basically ganon na uh, when we are not, you know, dependent on God, we don't trust Him, we go our own, you know, independent way, we will get into trouble. And more problems arise in our in our lives, and that's why Jesus had to come, you know, yeah. so that sabi nga I came that they may have life. Yung they na yon tayo have it to the full. Sa tagalog mas maganda pa nga eh na magkaroon daw tayo ng buhay na ganap at kasiya siya. Ganap a full life, you know, walang walang kulang. Over Not that you know when you become a Christian you're perfect. It's a process. Kaya I always tell my friends. You know, start now. Start doing your Bible classes. Start studying something that you've never studied before. You cannot just take from other people, you know, what they tell you. Or even just from your parents now. Oh, dito ko magsimba, ganon. Kailangan discover what the truth is. So it, it'll take a study, a lifetime of, of studying. But anyway, but it makes the, reason why, the mm. reason why we share it, is because our lives have changed for a better. Not just ganito, pero wow, ganon, no? Now, even when challenges come, whatever, it, it doesn't, well, for me at least, no? changes your perspective. And I think Isabella also, if it shakes us, siguro for a moment lang, tapos we, we remember, but wait, we God have a God. And too. so, it's a faith that is unshakable, unwavering, kasi you know, and you know, and you know, that God will never leave you or forsake you. He is there. You know, to always take care of you. Kaya ang daming, and I always tell my friends, you know, al alam mo ba ako ilan ang mga pangako sa Bible? But syempre, Promises. mahula sila, no? Hundred. Try, you know, 7,000 plus promises. And one of the promises that I, I fell in love with was in Psalm 37.4. Delight yourself in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. Oy, di ba? Oh, oh, Pero my. akala ko yung delight, Lord, love kita. <laughs> delighting yun. No? Marami naman that's akong also, kilalang ganyan. That's diba? delighting also. Oh. Pero you know what delights the Lord? When you read the Bible. You know why? Because it's telling God, I want to know you more, Lord. Yes. Yes. Kasi sabi ko nga sa mga kaibigan ko, kailangan makilala mo si Lord. To know Him, sabi nga ni Isabella, is to love Him. Yeah. Kung hindi mo kilala si Lord, paano mo siya talaga mamamahal? Diba? Just like in any relationship. Yeah. You know? and, and also, because... Um, to, to, to do something like that, to, to, uh, tinitignan ko yung sarili ko, nakatayo pala yung buho ko. To, to read the Bible is to spend time in the presence of God. And it's like, you know, He's a father to us. Actually, more a father to us and a real father. Mas magaling na father to. Kasi ang, ang father natin here, uh, sa mundo, uh, imperfect yan eh. He may promise and fail you, but God promises and never fails you. Mm -hmm. He's a faithful, compassionate, 
yung love daw niya reaches more than the heavens. Ganyan. Sino yung meron nun dito? Di ba? Mom, Ganon. I'll tell you something I did recently because I've been having a, a, a certain challenge uh, reading a certain <coughs> book in the Bible. And it's the, it's the book of John, which actually is the first book that you should read, apparently, because it talks about who Jesus is. But for some reason, I'd been having this challenge. And because I love the book of Proverbs and Psalms, and, you, you know, I get a lot of inspiration and a lot of direction from those two books. Mm -hmm. But the other day, I felt like God was prodding me to write this at the front of my Bible when you open it. Just these simple words. I am here. And so one day when I wasn't feeling well, I opened my Bible and I saw those words, uh, I am here. And I was like, yes, you are. Nakakakilabot naman yung story mo. You know? You know, right? al alam mo kung ilang beses sinasabi right? sa Bible yung do not fear. Sinasabi ni Lord, ilang beses? do not fear. Parang 365 yata. Eh. Binirang talaga. Araw-araw nga. How many days are there oh, in the year? Yeah. So that's, it's not an accident. Yeah. Yes, yeah. okay. Ganun, so diba? kasama pa rin natin si Isabella at saka si Ku. Talagang yeah. yung ating uh, conversation napakalalim. Ano? Yeah. Magbabalik tayo. They have an event coming up. We'll tell you all the details when we return.